I had a friend ask me what would happen to your vehicle if you just unplugged the oxygen sensor. And my reply back to him was, uh, well, it, it put your car back, you put your car into open loop and uh, it would run, run real, real inefficient. And then uh, he started to get me thinking, well, what would happen if you unplugged the O2 sensor and then used a map enhancer to lean up fuel? And I, I remember hearing somewhere that when a car goes into open loop, it relies on the last known good sensor. And I wanted to do a test today to see if that's happening. So the theory is, unplug the O2 sensor and use the map enhancer to lean the fuel out. And the idea is, if I did that, I would have full control over my fuel mixture because it was it was in open loop already. So the test we're going to do today, um, I'm going to get my generator putting out two liters of gas a minute. This is a two liter engine. So that'll give us plenty of gas to make a difference. Um, got got the cell running, it's running at 22.6 amps. That's not not near two liters a minute, but we're gonna we're gonna dump a little bit more sodium hydroxide in it and uh, for this test, we're going to overdrive the cell a little bit, right around 30, 32 amps. As soon as I get that up to where I want it, we'll go ahead and unplug the O2 sensor, and uh, we'll go for a uh, go for a run on the uh, route that we've always used for testing mileage. All right, we're close to the two liters a minute mark, uh, right around 30. 31 amps is when my units produce 2 liters a minute. For you people that are just seeing this, uh, my YouTube page, um, this car here is running the dry cell on it, and the dry cell right down here in between the, the grill and the radiator. It's a 16 plate dry cell, 4 by 6 inch plates. We've got the HHO running into a reservoir. And then from the reservoir, it goes into the um, air box here where the air cleaner is. And then there's a tube that goes down from inside there right, right up to the butterfly. Is right about it, right in there. Um, the car has a map enhancer on it. Uh, we hooked it into the map sensor, which is right here, uh, and it can be controlled from inside the vehicle to lean the lean the gas mixture off. Okay, it looks like we're about 30 amps, about where we need it. We're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and unplug the O2 sensor. And that'll put this into open loop mode. Just one second. It's now unplugged. I've got this hooked up to a scan gauge. And we don't have a check engine light yet, but I'm sure we will get one. It does say it's in open loop right now. What I wanted to do is use my map enhancer down here. It's one of my older models. See if I can actually still Lean the fuel out. 
and yes I can you can hear the engine starting to buck and stumble oh, just about killed it there okay so this tells me that I can still control my air fuel ratio even in open loop mode so I've completely bypassed the O2 sensor and now I'm running running through my map sensor and I'm able to adjust the fuel mixture right here with this knob what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go we're gonna go fill up at the uh, gas station we always use and we're gonna do a we're gonna do a run and we're gonna check our mileage uh, on this experiment alright we just got gas to head down the highway here about 25-30 miles to the turnaround point and head back to the gas station. Skangu is still showing open loop. Okay, we're back. We filled up. Um, we went 54.9 miles, and we put in 1.37 gallons, which gave us a 40.07 miles per gallon, which was a little bit less than uh, the normal on this car for uh, these runs that we do. Um, So unplugging the O2 sensor had very little effect. Um, what I'm going to do is I filled back up and I'm going to run a full tank through this, uh, three, four hundred miles on it, and then I'm going to take a reading there to get a more accurate uh, mile per gallon reading for this test. But initially, 40.07 miles to the gallon. Um, we put in 1.37 gallons went 54.9 miles. This concludes this video. Thanks for watching.